Okay guys, so now we're going to uh, put some accompaniment to our uh, jingle. So we've created a very short jingle, we followed the rules, we've kept the primary chords, we've kept the melody nice and simple, and we've kept it nice and short, and we've got a nice slogan to go with it, okay? So we're now going to put some accompaniment to it. We don't just want those four bars of melody, we want it to sound a bit more interesting than that. So you go into Soundtrap, that's soundtrap.com, um, you log in there, and we'll have done that in class, okay? Um, and it will bring you to this this screen here now we're creating music we're not creating a podcast yet and you have this new uh sheet the empty kind of a uh, uh, canvas to work off here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a new track here now my my first track i always you different people might do this differently but i always put in drums first okay so i'm going to add in drums and beats now you 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 look at this kind of grid here and you think what well, I don't know what this is okay well in a moment you, you might find this confusing but I'm just going to show you how to write a basic drum beat here so first of all the kick drum I'm going to put one in the first uh, first grid in the first box there like the first of the those four boxes then I'm going to go over to the third group of boxes and put one there I'm then going to move on to the snare and put one on the first uh, group of four in the second box and then on the fourth group of four in that box there basically each of these boxes represents a semiquaver okay you get four semiquavers for every beat so for example this is beat two here beat three beat four so on beat one i've got a kick or a bass drum beat two i'm putting a snare drum beat three i'm putting a kick drum beat four i'm putting a snare drum and i'm then going to add in the hi-hats on the first and third group sorry first and third square of each beat there that's basically quavers now here's what i've created here okay that's one bar of my beat there okay so for the moment you can copy that but just to show you here as well you can generate a beat as well okay so if you want to kind of make your own pattern you know you can do you can have all sorts of fun with that okay i'm just going to undo that for the moment okay and we're going to stick with my beat there but guys mess around with that experiment with that just it might sound awful at first have a bit of fun creating your own your own drum beats okay and um, you can also change the sound so if you click on uh what i was doing there i clicked on machines there uh we're on vanilla here at the moment but you might like old school i don't know what this is going to sound like yeah you go. quite like that actually Nice and short and poppy but there's hundreds of sounds there guys don't feel that you have to accept the first sound that soundtrap has given you okay and um, because our piece is four bars long um first of all i'm gonna i click on the, the, this here this is the drum beat i've just created i highlight it and i'm gonna copy that and i'm gonna paste it just make sure you're right on beat two here i'm gonna paste it three more times each of these uh, blocks here represent one bar of music so I've now created four bars of my drum line I go back to the start okay so that's my drum line uh, to go with my jingle next thing I'm gonna add in is a bass line okay so you click on add new track guitar and bass and just go to this section here says rock I'm gonna change this to bass electric and clean electric here okay now you get this really cool keyboard down here now what you can do we're gonna we're gonna start playing some notes to create a bass line you can click on the notes with your mouse can have a bit of fun with that or what I prefer to do is if you notice down the bottom like they have Z X C F that's the bottom row of letters on your keypad so for example if I push the button Z on my keypad it plays the first note there, which is C. X is the next one. C, V, B. And I'm literally just going up the row. It's nice and easy there. Um, very important to notice, and I'm sure you've copied this anyway, but like this note is not called Z, and this is not called X, and this is not called C or V or B. That's just the, 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 the kind of the, the shortcut on your uh, computer keyboard. Okay? These notes are, of course, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and so on. Okay? How do you know what bass, line, bass notes to play here? Well, you look at your uh, chord sequence. So we've picked the chord sequence 1, 4, 5, 1 in the key of C. Okay. So the root note of each chord it shares its name with the chord. So the first chord is C. So the root note of the chord of C is C. So I'm going to play a C. In the next bar, we chose the chord of 4 in the key of C, which is F. 
And the next bar we picked the chord of five in the key of C, which is G. And then we went back to the chord of one for bar four. Okay, so we could just play semi breves there. We could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, but that's boring. Okay, I'm gonna just develop the rhythm just a little bit here, and I'm gonna go crotchet, crotchet, minimum, crotchet, so like crotchet, crotchet, minimum, crotchet, crotchet, minimum, crotchet, crotchet, minimum, crotchet, crotchet, minimum. Okay, so uh, make sure this timer here is back down to zero. I'm gonna push record now. You're gonna get two bars of a count in, so the count of four twice, and then we're playing along to the drum line we've already made. Okay, so again, just to point out, it's not like I wasn't randomly picking bass notes there. The bass notes were based on the chords that I chose. Okay, and then I'm going to add in a new track now. Okay, and I'm nearly done. I'm going to add in, in this case, maybe some strings. So I'm going to add in, um, yeah, sorry, strings. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the string line here is I'm actually going to play the full chord here. For each, uh, for each bar. So in bar one, we have the chord of C. Now that's C, E, and G. They are the three notes in the chord of C. So that's Z, C, and B. Those three notes, I can do, I can only, I can't do this with my mouse. Obviously, I have to use the Z button, the C button, and the B button. This might sound complicated, guys, but the more you do it, the, the easier it gets. Okay, um, and you don't have to go to something this complicated. Also, I'm going to slow down the tempo here, which will make it easier for me to record. I'm going to go down to eighty, I think. I can speed it back up again afterwards, okay? So I'm gonna play a chord of C for a bar. I'm gonna play a chord of F for a bar. Whoops, sorry. G, oh, and then those three notes, chord of G, and back to the chords. Now let's say you're not comfortable doing that. Let's say, no, hang on, that's too hard. Just maybe copy the bass line for the moment. Just do a C, two, three, four, V, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Something like that. But I'm going to play the full chord here. Okay. So uh, slower tempo, two bars of a count in. And there we go. My, some of my drum line seems to have disappeared there. I'm not sure why. I don't know why. We'll, I'll deal with that a bit later. Okay, so that's my string section made. And finally, uh, sorry, I'm going to add in my melody now. I'm going to put the melody on a piano. Okay, and the melody again, I'm just going to short, I'm just going to use the, 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 uh, the keypad for this. So I have C, E, G, sorry, G, E, followed by F, G, F, G, A, C, C. And this was our melody. Have a shorter cleaning routine, Mr. Mullen's new machine. This is the, the melody we created here. So I'm going to play this so it's... the melody we wrote there okay so I'm gonna add in this make sure we're going right back to the start two bar counting there we go and then finally I really shouldn't do this but I have to add in my singing uh, I know a lot of you are probably like me, you're not totally comfortable singing, um, but give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to add in the melody now, which is Have a shorter cleaning routine with Mr. Mullen's new machine. Sorry, I'm getting some of the notes a little bit wrong there. Uh, have a shorter cleaning routine with Mr. Mullen's new machine. Okay, I'll sing it out good and confidently now here, so here we go. All right, I forgot to do one thing there. I forgot to add a new track. Beg your pardon, everyone. Voices and microphones, here we go.
One, two, three. Have a shorter cleaning routine with Mr. Marvin's new machine. And there is your jingle made, done. So let's hear that from the start. So my drum line, I don't know what happened to my drum line there, two, two bars went missing, okay, but you get the gist of it, how you do. And there you go, guys. That's how you create a backing track to your jingle in Soundtrap. Have a bit of fun with it. It's, um, you know, it, it, it's a, it is a lot of fun. I've gone to that quite quickly as well, okay, so you have a lot more time in your own time to um, to develop your, your ideas there yourself, okay? There we go. So that'll show you how we do that.